What's up, you freaking geniuses? So, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to find the radius of a circle when you're given a tangent, or specifically a tangent point. All right. So, the instructions here just say, in the diagram, point B is a tangent point. Find the radius R. Okay, so here, as you can see, we have this triangle right here, right, ABC, and it's telling us that this point, point B, is a tangent point. All right, so what does that mean? Well, you have to remember that tangent lines always create 90 degree angles with the radius. Okay, so if this is a tangent point, that just means this line right here and the radius form a right angle. All right, now how does that help us? Well, as you can see, we have, again, this triangle ABC. At least now we know that we have a right triangle. Okay, so how do you find missing lengths of right triangles? Well, you can use the Pythagorean theorem which is just a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, where a and b are the two shorter sides and c is the hypotenuse, All right? So let's identify the two shorter sides and the hypotenuse, because this is a part we have to be a little bit careful with. Okay, so here, the two shorter sides would actually be 80 feet and r. And the hypotenuse, the longest side, would be right here from a to c, which is 50 plus r, right? And how do we know that this is the hypotenuse? Well, remember, in a right triangle, the hypotenuse is always on the opposite side of the right angle, right? So if the angle's over here, the opposite side is this one over here, all right? So let's plug in our two shorter sides to our equation. So here, we're gonna have 80 squared plus r squared is equal to c, which again is 50 plus r, right? So we're gonna say, 50 plus r, and that's squared. So 80 squared is 6400, r squared is just r squared, and 50 plus r squared, we can multiply that out. We're just gonna have to FOIL, right? So we have 50 plus r times 50 plus r. So 50 times 50 is 2500, 50 times r is 50r, and r times 50 is 50r, and r times r is r squared. All right, so then here, and I'm just gonna flip it, we have r squared plus, uh, this guy's 100 r plus 2500, All right? So let's plug this in over here. So r squared plus 100 r plus 2500. All right, so we're trying to solve for r, so let's see if we can move some stuff to the left. So let's start with this r squared. So we can subtract r squared from both sides. So then these cancel out, and it looks like these also cancel out, all right? So got rid of one thing right there, nice. Let's move the numbers to the left side also. So subtract 2500 from both sides, these cancel out. So we're just left with 100 r, right? So we get 100 r is equal to 64 minus 25 is 39, so this is 3900, all right? Now we can just divide both sides by 100, so we can solve for r, so those cancel out, and we're left with r is equal to, here all those zeros cancel out, right? So we're just left with 39 over 1, which is 39, right? Cool, so r is equal to 39. All right, so we found the radius. It's 39, and for clarification, the hypotenuse is, again, 50 plus r, or in other words, 89, right? And let's not forget our units. These are all in feet. Boom. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.